I am now in Ethiopia. Uh, I'm doing uh, final preparation for London Marathon. My final preparation, a spirit training and uh, anime spirit training. I'm in Kenya at the moment and I'm preparing for Boston. The reason Boston is that uh, Boston is one of the uh, races whereby it's in my bucket list. In my last week before the Boston Marathon, I'm not doing much. I don't even think you can call it training. And I hate this week. I have the right systems. What I say, the right system is that I have the right uh, management, the right uh, people to, to, to actually arrange what's going on. And the first days I'm ready for the press conference. I respect every human being, that's why I, I answer any question, I handle all the questions. I don't actually uh, see if the questions that uh, I will be answering this, no, this. I, I answer any question. I, I have no problem with press conference. When you go to the physio and you know it's the last one, or you are hoping it's the last one, you hope that you will not find anything that he will say, oh, you feel great. And, but also you know your, your, own, you know your own body. So uh, you want to feel actually nothing, but you want to face it. But you, you want to, to be safe and everything is ready. Last touch. Imagine if you will, if you will feel something and you have to work hard on it. Uh, you probably need still to recover from that treatment. Most of the day before the race, uh, I will discuss with the physio what you think, because he, he has seen me two days before. And mostly actually you hope that he will say everything is good, you feel your body is great. Uh, and, and of course you know your own body also. So you hope there is nothing and everything is okay. Normally I, I call my family. I call them the uh, day before the race when I leave my family at home, uh, I call from, you know, from there, just uh, talk to them, getting some motivation also. I had problem with sleeping, you know, day before the rest. Uh, I go early, like 9, 9.30. The rest actually is hard. That's the hardest day ever in, in my life. Because you wake up, you feel you don't have energy, you feel you need to sleep, you feel you don't na need to eat anything because of the tension and, and, and adrenaline is really high. Start choking and when the can is off. Then all things are clearly uh, in the right direction. Actually, what most motivated me was really because there's because spectators, so many people were calling my name, like not even Nagay, but my first, you know, up, the up, the up. They knew I was coming from seven, number three, so they were shouting for me like I was winning the race, so it, it felt really good. Uh, when I finish the race, I celebrate uh, what I've done. So when, I've, when uh, I've run good, I normally celebrate and thank God for everything uh, that has happened that day. And of course, happy to, to see the fans cheering and everyone happy. It's always great to be at the finish line. When you are preparing a marathon, you think every day about that marathon. The moment you finish that race, you will think directly, what's the next?